Toyota is a dominant force in the Australian car market, with a market share consistently around 20%. Since 1994, Toyota has invested more than $1.6 billion in Australian facilities. This included more than $350 million at the Altona manufacturing plant to support the introduction of the current model Camry, a new four-cylinder engine and increased production capacity. The fully integrated Altona manufacturing plant incorporates state-of-the-art engine, press, weld, paint and assembly shops to produce cars that have been independently recognised as Australia's best quality locally built vehicles. Toyota Motor Corporation Australia mainly builds the Toyota Camry. Toyota is also Australia's largest car exporter, with left-hand drive Camrys now accounting for more than half of Toyota Australia's annual production. Toyota's Altona manufacturing facility has a build capacity of around 120,000 vehicles per year. To build a Toyota vehicle from start to finish takes approximately 1.5 calendar days. Now, let's take a closer look at the Altona manufacturing facility and how a Toyota car is built. Toyota's powertrain department is where the four-cylinder 2.4-litre engine for the Camry is built. This engine uses Toyota's latest VVTi technology, Variable Valve Timing Intelligent technology, which enables improved fuel economy, lower emissions and improved performance. It is the first Australian-built engine with an aluminium block using high-pressure die casting. Many of Toyota's engine components are manufactured in-house, including cylinder blocks, pistons, cylinder head covers and bearing caps. In the casting area, the 2,500 tonne casting machine produces around 32 cylinder blocks or 41 crankcases per hour. Once completed, the engines head straight for the final assembly line. Toyota Australia's first press plant was established in 1980. Here, steel panels and parts are produced for the vehicles for Australian and export markets. The AO Press, commissioned to support the introduction of the new model Camry in 2002, has a pressing capacity of 2,400 tonnes. The AO Press line produces a full side of a motor vehicle on one line. This is a major advance compared to the previous system of pressing panels and joining them to make the car body. This has improved processes, reduced manufacturing costs and most importantly, assisted in the development of better quality cars for customers in Australia and overseas. The body panels and parts are then taken to the neighbouring weld shop. The welding process isn't simply attaching the top, two sides, base, four doors, bonnet and boot lid. The welding to make each car shell involves 250 processes and 526 parts. Robots do 105 of the welding jobs with the remainder being done by the employees on the day shift and the afternoon shift. Maintenance of the welding equipment is carried out by our specialist maintenance department who regularly attend training to update their skills. The shell or body of the car then moves to the neighbouring paint shop. Toyota's Altona paint shop is the first waterborne paint plant in the southern hemisphere. The welded car shells or bodies are first immersed in water with cleaning fluids in a phosphate dip to prepare the metal to accept the paint. 
then in rust-proofing fluid, and finally through an electro-deposition dip. The bodies are then transported to the spray booths where the interior is sprayed manually with a primer coat. Robots using a fine mist then apply a base coat and a reciprocating machine, similar to a robotic machine, applies a final clear resin. The bodies are then transported to the paint ovens. The painted car shells are then moved by overhead carrier to the neighbouring assembly shop. In Toyota's assembly shop, the painted car shells then wind their way through seven assembly lines of about 250 metres each, travelling at a similar pace to a car in a car wash. It is here that Toyota team members fit all the parts and accessories to the vehicle. Robots assist in several areas such as windscreen fitment where a robot is used to uniformly apply the windscreen adhesive. One of the last functions before testing is reuniting each car with its doors. Once fitment is complete, the vehicles undergo a series of rigorous tests and quality checks to ensure they meet required standards. It takes approximately seven hours for the car to go from a shell to a fully tested finished product driven out of the assembly shop. A random sample of vehicles are taken from the assembly line to the emissions lab where they are checked and driven on a dyno testing machine to a pre-programmed driving pattern over a simulated distance of around 12 kilometres. They are then soaked for 15 hours in an area where temperature is a constant 25 degrees Celsius. This stabilises the vehicle's fuel, water and oil at the appropriate temperature for cold start emission testing. The vehicle is then transferred to the testing cell where tyre pressures are checked and adjusted, a hose attached to the vehicle exhaust and a large cooling fan fixed into position. In the nearby control room, the emissions team measure total hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and nitric oxide emissions from the vehicle. Temperatures and barometric pressure are also measured. Emissions testing takes around 50 minutes to complete. The computer then calculates the readings and compares results against vehicle emission regulation limits to ensure compliance. Toyota's commitment to quality and manufacturing excellence is clearly evident throughout the entire manufacturing process. The dedicated people who work at Toyota Motor Corporation Australia build a world-class product which satisfies both our strong domestic and growing export markets. Test drive our factory, then test drive our cars. Thank you.